Good morning from us. We will present, uh, uh, we will not present the work that we are doing in uh, SOC, but uh, in the Solis Maintenance Work in of Daraya. Since the work that we are doing in SOC, in, in work, um, uh, in work package 4. Point, uh, task 7, uh, it's not, uh, um, has, has, has not to do with vocabularies, but uh, with ontologies. But uh, Eleni uh, is one of the coordinators of the Solus Maintenance Working Group of Daraya and uh, will present you uh, the work that you have done with Backbone Thesaurus. So I give floor to Eleni to give you the presentation about the Backbone Thesaurus of Daraya work, Thesaurus Maintenance Working Group. Okay. Great. Um, so yeah, the topic of the presentation is uh, Backbone Thesaurus, a model for Thesaurian interoper interoperability. Uh, so uh, the in a scenario where you know uh, you have two more resources that cover different or overlapping areas of expertise, uh, maybe you need to consult uh, you know and you need to consult them at the same time if you're actually looking for publications or tools okay. or um, sorry uh, or uh, other uh, items relevant to your research. Uh, you might find yourself in, the, yourself in the situation where the vocabularies that are used to classify the content of the resources do not match one another, at least not perfectly. So uh, to be able to search them at the same time at once, it means that you have somehow established correspondences among, the, among them. And the large numbers of vocabularies that are used across research domains, this is actually a massive task to undertake. And what we have proposed with the Backbone Thesaurus was to actually try and connect the vocabularies with a, sm with a, a very small uh, set of uh, well-defined uh, terms and concepts that are very generic that allow users to browse uh, for the, the objects, the items that they're interested in using the same terms, the same terminology as they uh, were uh, in their queries. So, uh, as Hersula mentioned, the Backbone Thesaurus was developed by the Daria maintenance, uh, Thesaurus Maintenance Working Group. And uh, its aim was to bring to together uh, a federation of uh, vocabularies spanning the arts and the humanities and to render them interoperable. Uh, the idea was that they, these vocabularies would be loosely integrated uh, into a mediating structure and they would retain their autonomy, as I said before. Uh, the, the classification that the BBT relies on uh, is actually considered valid and consistent from a cross-disciplinary perspe perspective and it has been inspired by the high-level classes of CEDOC CRM, mm -hmm. but it also relies on, uh, actually takes into consideration uh, the high level of AAT because it is, a, it, it is widely used within the, uh, the uh, digital humanities uh, uh, area. So uh, the content of the Federated Thesauri would be accessed through the uh, ACDH Vocabulary Repository Service. And uh, I have a few links there if you're just interested in uh, looking at them. Uh, the structure of the, of the BBT would now, uh, well, now looks like that, but uh, there, there are scope notes and uh, um, and for the facets and the hierarchies that are mentioned here, uh, that uh, can I mean you can browse the you can browse them uh, if you look at the links that I uh, provided before. Uh, the principles that drove uh, building the BBT was I, that there are only very few high level concepts that it uh, that it declares and that they were actually obtained through a bottom-up analysis of classificatory systems that are used uh, in the humanities. Uh, it's not like, I mean, that it is inspired by CEDOC and that it is inspired by the AAT does not mean that it was an ad hoc uh, uh, generalization, but it was actually uh, built bottom-up. Um, it comprises facets and hierarchies. Uh, what is uh, what is of interest in terms of the hierarchies is that they are uh, they only they stand in an ISA hierarchical relation to the respective top terms, and uh, I, as such, the BBT assumes an open world position, and it is 
which means that it can actually be uh, revised and expanded uh, based on new evidence. Um, here you can see well, what I have on the right side of the uh, of this uh, slide is is an example of uh, the terms found under um, disciplines and something else in German. But uh, the, this this uh, this is the term of the hierarchy that is mapped to the BBT disciplines uh, term, and uh, the. Um, and that was one of the was one of the um, uh, the resources that we consulted, and that motivated uh, defining uh, the BBT disciplines hierarchies because we kind of looked at them and we kind of looked at these terms and not just these terms uh, and not just these thesaurus, and uh, figured that they have to correspond to. Uh, well, we, we figured what were the the necessary and so the, the essential conditions. To, to include uh, these terms in one hierarchy. So they seem to be corresponding to scientific branches. They were exerted by individuals that have acquired the skills required to perform them. And they involve the adoption and the application of uh, well-defined domain-specific methods. And that's what motivates that the actual uh, hierarchy uh, consists of these and only these terms and not something that is not uh, related. Uh, so, uh, how do we uh, how do we um, manage the BBT? Uh, we have uh, developed at fourth uh, a tool uh, for managing it. It's called BB Talk. Uh, again, we have a link here. Uh, it is an online th uh, service for managing Thesauri. Uh, for the moment, it's BBT oriented, and it's not just it's um, it's it does not only uh, manage Thesauri integration with the BBT. It's not just for alignment, but we can also use it to update the, B the content of the, B of the BBT. Uh, it supports multilingual content. For the moment, we have English, French, German, and Greek on it. Uh, it imports and exports in RDF. So you have to, you know, you don't have Thesauri on paper, but uh, RDF scores files. Uh, and it was actually developed yeah, in the context of Apollonis. Uh, so this is uh, one of the so one of the one of the functions that uh, it supports is uh, aligning Thesauri to the BBT. And here we have like um, an instance where uh, well this is a toy example where we're declaring we're, we're declaring uh, the connection between a term from one vocabulary to the BBT. Uh, uh, we uh, like adding the connected term uh, name, uh, add, adding the connected term name, uh, say, uh, saying which one, uh, which term of the BBT it corresponds to, uh, add the term URI, uh, specify the relation, and then have the uh, have some metadata for the uh, uh, source vocabulary uh, available, so that if there is some change, then the person who made the submission will be notified. On the right hand, on the right hand side, we see how the connections then appear uh, on the um, on the BBTOK environment. Uh, like for one particular uh, term of the BBT, and of course, you get like the we get to see the the, the, the you know the the BBT term has a scope node, and then we get the alternative. Uh, I, um, label and uh, scope note in one of the supported languages, namely French here. So uh, for the moment, these are the terminologies that are aligned with the BBT, either in part or fully. Uh, it's the, the As Humanities Thesaurus uh, handled by the Academy of Athens, uh, the Idai Belt Thesaurus uh, by the uh, German Archaeological Institute, uh, part of, of Pactols, uh, by Frantic, uh, some vocabularies that were generated in the context of Parthenos, the Parthenos project, uh, parts of uh, Gamet, and the language of binding thesaurus. So we're, you know, uh, trying and adding things uh, slowly to it. Um, uh, so uh, moving on, so um, 
once we've actually connected the thesauri, once we've connected uh, vocabulary terms to the BBT, we can uh, we can view them from the vocabulary service uh, from the from this uh, particular uh, URL, for instance, uh, for the vocabularies vocabularies there at EU. And then we can uh, look at the, we can look at the we can navigate the vocabularies that are linked to the BBT uh, through the through the relations that appear uh, here. Are there exactly matching concepts or narrow ma matching concepts? And then by clicking we, by clicking on the uh, on the terms that appear uh, here, uh, they, these are. Uh, they are linked to the original uh, resource where you can uh, go, where, where you can browse them from. Uh, so in this particular case, we have disciplines, uh, BBT B disciplines. The terms that are connected as now we're matching here uh, are uh, philosophy and paleography. By clicking on paleography, we actually browse from the um, from the uh, from the um, from the um, open the zone environment. Uh, what can be found there? Uh, the other functionality will be managing the content, uh, whereby if we if, the, if there's an observed clash between the terms of BBT and those that uh, specialists has already uh, have to, and want to link to it, they can the, the users of uh, a specialist or local thesauri can link it can. Um, Propose changes or to update the content of the BBT uh, to alter the structure of the BBT. In this particular case, uh, uh, we can either uh, altering the, the, the con uh, altering the um, altering the um, the structure of BBT uh, involves either introducing new, new terms or deleting or merging or splitting existing ones. And uh, you cannot just go on and do that. You have to discuss it first. Uh, and this discussion is supported by the BBTalk environment, where you know all the arguments in favor or against the proposal are discussed. Uh, to um, in this particular example, we have uh, uh, one of the IDI Belt Thesaurus uh, maintainers uh, proposing to change, uh, well, to introduce a new facet in the BBT, and uh, the discussion that and 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 not only the facet, but also the scope node for it. And then we uh, we went on and discussed it a lot. And then we called for a vote at the end of it, and then it was rejected. A rejection does not mean that something is final, it's set in stone, but it all, what it does mean though, is that you have to maybe re-examine it uh, at a later stage. I mean, if you see on my, uh, on my right hand side, uh, on the right hand side, hand side of the slide, there is this uh, workflow that is um, presented that we're following. Uh, so first you submit a term and then it's discussed. And then if, uh, if, we, if we rediscuss it and then you accept it, it's some, at some point it is implemented and appears on the new release of the BBT. Uh, so thanks for that, uh, for your attention. Any more information that uh, you want to see, please refer to uh, the following links.